Russia's decision to send troops to the Ukrainian region of Crimea is drawing condemnation from protesters around the world. From Germany. One can simply not accept that a despot like Putin is actually eating up Crimea or even more, just as if it was a bloody steak that he is consuming. One has to say, stop, you won't get any further. I'm sorry. To Latvia. Everything happens now the same way it was done by Hitler and Stalin in 1939. It is all the same. To the United States. Any nationality that surrounds Russia should be concerned about this development because it shows that Russia is very assertive. It becomes more and more confident that the West will let it go with its aggressive plans, with its assertiveness. And in Ukraine itself, thousands turned out on the streets in Kiev to protest, including former Georgian president Mikhail Saakashvili. This military operation not only puts Crimea and the East in danger, but also Kiev. But this enemy does not know how heroic and strong you are. He does not know what patriots of your land you are. Putin's dreams will collapse against the city walls of your hero city, Kiev. Meanwhile, in Moscow, thousands take to the streets in a pro-Putin march. They're backing Russian President Vladimir Putin's decision to send troops to Ukraine. We came here to support our president, our government, and our brotherly Ukrainian people. We want them to decide their own fate by themselves, but decide calmly, not amid a civil war, but in a calm and peaceful way, according to their constitution. Russian forces have already bloodlessly seized Crimea, an autonomous region with a majority ethnic Russian population.